How's it going? Uh, my name is George. I'm the Chief Whaler here at Whole Whale, and today we are going to be talking about how to use Google Data Studio to create incredible nonprofit dashboards for your organization. Creating customized dashboards is a, an awesome way to get your team involved in understanding and more importantly, using data regularly. Uh, and Data Studio makes it that much easier to share polished and easy to read reports across an organization quickly. And by the way, it's free. Google Data Studio is Google's data visualization tool, free again, that can be used to create beautiful, shareable, and, and easy to assemble reports. Data Studio makes it super simple to load, present, and share data in a, in a customized report with your logo and style. We know that you get a, you know, a ton of work into presenting the right metrics to the organization. Using a clear, concise, visually appealing way to do this is huge. When you need to combine multiple sources of data, from spreadsheets and what have you, like following this walkthrough will help you review the features of Data Studio, how to share ideas, and the best ways to use it effectively across your nonprofit. This is the first page that you'll see when you log into your Data Studio account. Uh, your, we'll see your reports here, uh, all of your connected data sources, and uh, the Explorer. So first, before you create a report, you're going to need to connect what data, whatever data sources you need for your report. So I would click the Create button, click Data Source, and here you can see there are so many different types of data you can connect to Data Studio. It's pretty awesome. Um, so you can create one for your website and connect your Google Analytics. You can connect your Google Ads. There are so many um, types of sources you can connect. And there's even connectors here. So if it's not a source that can be directly connected, these will connect um, Data Studio to the other source of data that you have. So let's say we want to create one for our website. I would go ahead and select Google Analytics, connect the website, account that I want to connect which is going to be this one. And then select property in the view and then click connect. Once you do that, you can see all of the data has been imported into Data Studio. So from there, you can go straight ahead and click create report. Go ahead and click yes. We wanna add a data source to this report. And here you're starting with a blank slate. So that's totally an option. You can start from scratch. Um, if this is your first time using Data Studio, I highly recommend using our nonprofit template. You also have the options of other templates here. Uh, there's a whole template gallery that you can look at and choose from and change and edit based on what you need for your organization. I highly recommend that because starting with a blank report can be a bit overwhelming, uh, but if you choose to do so, that is also an option and I'll show you how to do that. The first thing you wanna do is obviously name your report. So you can do that up here. And there are so many options of how you can get started. Um, so let's just start up here. You can add whatever chart you want. So let's just add a simple scorecard here. Put that in. Um, at first, Google automatically sets that at page views. If you wanna change what that data is, you would go over here to the data and search the fields. Let's say we wanna do some sort of sessions change it like that, boom, you've got a new chart there. Let's say we wanna add something that has color. So let's say a pie chart. That comes right in. And here, if you don't like the colors of your widget, you can go to style and change up the colors, the background, labels, etc. So you can really customize how you want it to look. Um, there's also options for adding just simple shapes, like a rectangle. So if you want to just have this whole page be colored as a home page, for example, you can do that and play with the color however you like. Uh, there's also circles that you can play with, lines, you can add images, you can add a text box to help describe, you know, maybe what the report is, what someone is looking at. 
There are also these cool tabs where you can have data control. So if you want to use one report for multiple different sources of data, um, let's say like your Google Analytics data and uh, another data source you have, you can put in this uh, data control tab and you can switch between your different connected data sources. Uh, you also obviously want to add a date range. So adding in this widget will allow you to toggle between whatever date range you like. And then up here at the top, you can download the report. You can schedule an email delivery, which is really great. So let's say this is for your website and you want to look at how it's doing every month. You can do that up here and set who you want to send it to and how often weekly, monthly, etc., based on the start time and date. You can just get a report link if you want to share this report with someone. You can even embed this report somewhere else if you choose to do that. And you can easily make a copy if you want to make another report and play off the original one that you made. Okay, so once you have your original page with whatever you like on it, let's say we put our big widget here. You can create multiple pages. So you can do that right here by clicking add a page. And we highly recommend, you know, each page should have a purpose. And maybe the first page is a big overview. The second page can be focused on uh, if it's for your website, a certain type of traffic you're interested in, like your social media traffic. Third page could be focused on your Google Ads data. So you can really just create pages and customize the widgets there based on how you want to analyze the data going forward. And the last thing that I'll show you is how to use a segment. So let's say you put in time series here and you want to look at this widget for a specific segment that you have in Google Analytics. You can easily do that here by clicking add a segment. You can look at the system segments that are already in Google Analytics. You can look at your custom segments. Let's say we only want to look at the West Coast. Yes, we want to add this custom segment to the report. And then boom, that's now changed to look at that specific traffic. So as you can see, the possibilities here are really endless. There's so much to do, so much you can play around with. Um, again, I highly recommend starting with a template. Uh, we'll link to our nonprofit template below so you can start with that if you like and play around and change based on what you learned in this tutorial. Um, but if you want to start with a blank slate, go for it. It's really fun to play around in Data Studio and figure out all the different ways that you can connect your data. I want to be careful though about giving you yet another dashboard as though dashboards solve all problems though they solve a lot of problems. Conceptually I want you to take a step back and just understand that any dashboard's job is to get you the information you need to know. Imagine the last time you were in a car and the driver of that car didn't really care about their Twitter reach when they were doing 65 and a 64. They need to know how fast and how far they can go on a gas tank. So think about that dashboard. Think about how it's being used. And this is the thinking that we're bringing into when we design our dashboards for you. The next is how good plus how many. We're always thinking about not just the volume of traffic or a behavior, but what is the quality? What are the quality metrics we're looking for? And to oversimplify, essentially once I have the general number of whatever visits, I'm looking for engagement measured by like eye contact, right? Right now you're, you're paying attention, hey, pay attention to me. I'm looking for that kind of eye contact, telling that what's the difference between somebody who maybe, or hundreds of people that came to a page and bounced 100% of the time versus 10% of the time. Like I want to know how many pages per visit. I want to know this time on site. These types of how good versus how many, always keep this in mind when you're looking at dashboards. Next. Pay attention to the delta. For all of these Data Studio reports, and especially the ones that Whole Whale creates, we're thinking about the context. I give you a number, seven. Are you happy about this number? Are you sad? What if I tell you that that number should be 70? You are now sad because that number in delta, we're paying attention to where you are versus where you should be. Play with this because you are telling a story one way or another. You're telling a story to the humans that are looking at this dashboard. and so. Understand where and how that delta comes in, 
where and how you are identifying targets. If you were looking at just a number of monthly visitors, guess what? Uh, what is this versus last month? What is this versus this time last year? So I'm looking at a little bit more apples to apples. I want you thinking about this as you become the architects of these dashboards. The final piece, this is very important. The final piece here is that be careful. These things are powerful. When you hold up a dashboard, a number for someone to chase, guess what? They're gonna work on making that number go up. Make sure the numbers you're holding up, one, are factually accurate. Source to the right, whatever Google Analytics goal or report or, or spreadsheet or database, make sure that they're accurate. And then you, like, this may seem obvious, uh, make sure that those are the numbers you want people paying attention to, to go up. When you're giving somebody a report card, like they're going to work on increasing the number of emails or the number of visits. But if it's just a superficial metric that they're after, like generic, nobody cares traffic, and they start creating a bunch of junk content, like here are 10 stickers that look cute because they have cats on them and your traffic goes up, is that a win? So think about the implications when you are the architect of these dashboards. Hey, thanks so much for joining us today uh, to talk about dashboards, which we love, and Data Studio. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments below. We look at those things or tweet us at Whole Whale. Look, if you liked what you saw also, uh, and you wanna get it a little deeper with Whole Whale, you know, visit wholewhale.com. Yep, wholewhale.com, that's where you find us. <laughs>